Hi friends, welcome to Gnana Gangotri. Dear friends, in this session, I would be discussing about June 2021 weekly current affairs MCQs. And this is part two that is in English version. So we have already presented the questions in Kannada version. And uh, if you want to take these questions in the format of uh, quiz, you can download JG's online classes application and you can attend all these questions in the form of quiz. And if you wish to download PDF, even PDFs are also available in the same application. And this video is presented to you by Gnana Gungotri. So before I start reading out the questions, one more instruction is as soon as the question appears on the screen, you can just pause the video for a second and try and answer the same. After that, you can run the video and look for the correct answer on the explanation. So with this, let us go to question number one, which city to host 2032 Summer Olympic Games. And the right answer for this question is option A, Brisbane. And the explanation for this question is Olympic chiefs have decided to propose the Australian city of Brisbane as host of the 2032 Summer Olympic Games at the next month's International Olympic Committee session. The 2020 Olympic Games are scheduled to take place in Tokyo between 23rd July and 8th August in 2021. In 2017, the IOC awarded the 2024 Games to Paris and the 2028 Olympics to Los Angeles. Let's go to question number two. Sanjay Yadav appointed as Chief Justice of which of the which High Court? And the right answer for this is option A, Allahabad High Court. And the explanation for this is the President of India in exercise of the power conferred by clause one of article 217 of the Indian constitution appointed Justice Sanjay Yadav, judge of the Allahabad High Court to be chief justice of the Allahabad High Court. Question number three, which nation will host 47 G7 summit? And the right answer for this is option C, UK. And the explanation is UK currently holds the president presidency of the G7 and has invited India along with Australia, Republic of Korea and South Africa as guest countries for the G7 summit and theme of this summit is build back better. Let's go to question number four. Recently, which institute developed technique that can detect cyclones much in advance? And the right answer for this is option A, IIT Karakpur. Question number five, recently Dingo Singh passed away. He was associated with which sports? And the right answer for this is option D, boxing. And the explanation for this is Dingo Singh is a former Asian Games gold medalist. In the year 1998, he won this medal at the 13th Asian Games, Bangkok. He was also Manip Manipur's first Asian Games gold medalist. And he is also conferred with Arjuna Award in the year 1998 and conferred with Padma Shri, that is India's fourth highest civilian award in the year 2013. Let's go to question number six. Which tech company to build Firmina cable, the longest undersea cable in the world? And the right answer for this is option C, Google is to build this particular cable. And the explanation for this is, Google will be building an open subsea cable that will connect the east coast of the US and Los Toninas, Argentina with additional landings in Brazil and Uruguay. With the new cable, the tech giant aims to bolster internet connectivity to users in South America and enhance its existing cable investments in the region. The Firmina cable named after Brazilian abolitionist and author Maria Firmina Dos Reis will be the longest cable in the world. So let's go to question number seven. When is World Day Against Child Labor observed? And the right answer for this question is option B, June 12th. And the theme of this year is End Child Labor Act. I mean, it is act now and child labor. So let's go to question number eight. Which city ranked top in the economists 
annual survey of the world's most livable cities in 2021 and the right answer for this is option d auckland and the explanation for this is auckland is followed by osaka and tokyo in japan adelaide in australia and wellington in new zealand Vienna, previously the world's most livable city between 2018 and 20, fell to 12th position. Let's go to question number nine. Which nation's government created its account on Indian microblogging platform? Who? And the right answer for this is option B, Nigeria. And the explanation for this is the Nigerian government created its account on Indian microblogging platform, Who? Days after the African country banned Twitter, Nigeria on June 5 banned Twitter after the social media company deleted President Muhammadu Bahari's tweet threatening to punish cessationists. Let's go to question number 10. Recently, India and which nation signed MOU for cooperation on recruitment of domestic workers? And the right answer for this is option C, Kuwait. And the explanation for this is India and Kuwait have signed an MOU that brings Indian domestic workers in the Gulf nation within the ambit of a legal framework that streamlines their recruitment and provides them with the protection of the law. MOU which will introduce an employment contract ensuring the rights and obligations of both the employer and the domestic workers. Let's go to question number 11. Which institution has developed low cost sensor to detect SARS in wastewater? And the right answer for this is option D, IIT Bombay. And the explanation for this is scientists in uh, United Kingdom and Indian Institute of Technology Bombay have come together to jointly develop a low cost sensor to detect the SARS virus that causes the infection coronavirus disease within the wastewater. So let's go to question number 12. Recently noted Kannada poet Siddhalingaya dies. Which among the following is autobiographical book of Siddhalingaya? And the right answer for this is option A, Urukeri. And the explanation for this is poet Siddhalingaya was born on February 3, 1954 in Magdi Ramnagara district. Siddhalingaya is credited with starting the Dalit Bandaya movement in Karnataka or in Kannada, as well as starting the genre of Dalit writing in Kannada literature. Siddhalingaya's autobiographical book, Uru Keri, published in 1996, told the story of harshness of the existence of Dalits. Let's go to question number 13. Who among the following won Pulitzer Prize 2021? And the right answer for this is option D, Mega Raj Gopalan. And the explanation for this question is Mega Raj Gopalan, an Indian origin journalist, along with two contributors, have has won the Pulitzer Prize for investigative reports for international reporting for writing on China's mass detention camps for Muslim. Uyghurs in 2017, not long after China began to detain thousands of Muslims in Xinjiang, Rajgopal was the first to visit an internet internment camp at a time when China denied that such places existed. So let's go to question number 14. Devika River National Project is being constructed in which UT or state? And the right answer for this is option C, Jammu and Kashmir. And the explanation for this is Devika River National Project is centrally fu funded rupees 190 crore National River Conservation Plan. Let's go to question number 15. Which space agency to launch Envision mission to Venus? And the right answer for this is option D. ESA. What is ESA? The European Space Agency announced that it has selected Envision as its next orbiter that will visit Venus sometime in the 2030s. NASA selected two missions to the planet Venus, the mission called Davin C Plus and Veritas have been selected for scientists' scientific value 
and the feasibility of their development plans. Let's go to question number 16. Who among the following won French Open 2021 men's single? And the right answer for this is option A, Novok Ju. The right answer for this is Novak Djokovic. And the explanation for this is Novak Djokovic is first one title away, one title away from Federer and Nadal's world record. So if he if he wins, if he win one title, he will equal the record of Federer and Nadal. And the world number one has also become the first man in the open era and third overall to win all four major at least twice. So let's go to question number 17. Who among the following won French Open 2021 women's single? And the right answer for this is option B, Barbora Kresikova. And question number 18, which among the following institution developed a device, Jeevan Vayu? And the right answer for this is option B, IIT Ropar. And the explanation for this is Indian Institute of Technology, Ropar has developed a device, Jeevan Vayu, which can be used as a substitute of continuous positive airway pressure machine. However, this is nation's first such device which functions even without electricity and is adopted to both kinds of oxygen generation units like O2 cylinders and oxygen pipelines in hospitals. Let's go to question number 19. Neftali Bennett sworn in as new prime minister of which nations? And the right answer for this is option D, Israel. Uh, and the explanation for this question is his victory ended the 12 year power of former prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, the country's longest serving leader, Netanyahu, Israel's longest serving prime minister, is on trial for fraud and he fell short of obtaining majority support after the general election in March this year. Let's go to the last question of this session. Recently, which among the following Indian cricketer added to ICC Hall of Fame? And the right answer for this is option A, Vinu Mankad. The International Cricket Council announced a special edition intake of 10 cricket icons, including former Indian cricketer Vinu Mankad, into the ICC Hall of Fame. So with this, I would be, I have completed all 20 questions of second segment of June 2021 current of MCQs. So at the end, I just want to give you one more information for those students who are preparing for PSI. 2021 examination. So if you are preparing and if you want to check your preparedness, you may take a test series with Gnana Gangotri. So there are two options for you. One is you can either buy Mission Double Star or Boosters test series. Both will be available on JG's online app and also IASGnana.com application. So if you go with respect to Mission Double Star, you would be getting around 35 general studies tests along with 13 paper one examinations. Or if you wish to go for a booster test series where you will get 10 comprehensive examinations wherein eight general studies plus two current affairs. So if you go to the first package, there will be 35 tests in all wherein you would get segment wise tests like ancient history, modern history before you uh, you know, uh, before uh, you come up with comprehensive examination. Okay, so initially you have tests on uh, subject wise, then you will have comprehensive examinations in the first package. So if you have any doubts, you can comment in the comments box. Thanks for watching. Namaskara.